How many of you have seen uh, tutorials on Instagram, super quick videos of painting trees and backgrounds and looking so easy? <laughs> well, we've tried it today. Uh, it's not that easy, but I think it's manageable. The more you paint, the more you try it and practice, the better it starts to look. I can promise you one thing, you will love it, enjoy it. It's very therapeutic, a really, really nice way of uh, comforting yourself, of enjoying a little bit of painting time, but also in a really relaxed way. So I hope you will join us. Please get your paints, brushes, paper, water, and that's it. Uh, it's not that difficult as you think. Uh, you have to just try it, so please, uh, get my advice and just start. That's the biggest problem. You just have to start to know, to practice, to love it and enjoy it. So let's paint it together, shall we? As I was uh, editing this video, I realized I forgot to mention something about membership option and especially to those who are already my members. Please remember that if you joined to my membership on my YouTube channel, a community tab is where you should be looking at and I only realized today or yesterday that not on every uh, device it's gonna work and shown you will see it on the phone if your application is updated YouTube app and also you will see it on the laptop but I had no idea that when you are using iPad uh, tablets that this option community tab which is here may not work, you may not see it, because two days ago I posted members only video which was for all of you guys who are my members, but I think not everyone seen it, so I really wish you to have a look at the community tab which is here, uh, which is next to which is next to playlists, next to videos on top of my, I hope you can see that, so this is the main page, you can join the membership, and again this also um, button may not show everywhere I had no idea it may not show on tablets so if you are on the um, laptop please have a look or check the link below the video in the comment section as well it's gonna be a first comment pinned comment but I really urge you to check the community tab for those who are already the members if you wish to see this video the could journal with the building gorgeous gorgeous page because uh, it was free for everyone who joined even the lowest uh, membership option uh, I just made a quick video which was a total surprise and if you don't know what I'm talking about being a subscriber is you getting all my regular content as everyone else but if you wish to join it you can have a click here and you can join by paying monthly and you could be baby shark and you get extra perks and you get this little lovely flower next to your name depending how long you support it special uh, videos live videos um, vlog videos or marry me special or surprise that I ship you um, for you from my home different levels you have five levels if you feel like checking it out I just never had a time to really focus on that membership yet I will I promise you but I really wish to make sure that everyone who's uh, members have seen this newest video which is Deco Journal which is absolutely gorgeous and there are other things as well that they were oh there was a vlog as well family vlog shared which was for the for the members as well so please if you wish to have a look I'm gonna show you the the project that we've done together uh, as the surprise project for all the members so if you feel like joining great there are lots of surprises on the way there are lots of things nothing is changing my youtube channel is not changing i am still making free videos for everyone the same way as i always did and a membership option is a little extra for those who can support it wish to support it get something a little extra and this is allowing me to make free content like today like videos with the uh, watercolors art journaling mixed media whatever that is um so please have a look if you wish i just wanted to really uh put it this out there that the recent video was for every member so please check community tab I repeat community, community tab it may not be on your uh, device so check it out please check it out <laughs> and the link for membership uh, it's under this video as well and also in the comment section down below uh, yes I just wish to stress this because I don't want anyone who is already a member paying and doesn't get the, the perks doesn't, doesn't 
doesn't get the extra things that I offer, that I have and that I, you know, surprise you with. So please check it out. Oh yeah, sorry for that <laughs> little short info. <laughs> Enjoy painting! Hello, hello my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Marita here and let me tell you one little thing. Here are my watercolors and those are watercolor gouaches that I love to bits. I have to say one thing about it because I feel that some of you may be a little bit confused. Marta, how come you are using those paints yet you're talking about uh, getting Arteza tubes but you never use tubes? I actually do. Arteza gouaches, uh, they're coming in sets of 60s and 20 something, smaller, bigger, whatever it's your budget. They come in a flat color like chalky color or some more like a uh, a metallic whatever you prefer my set is 60 tubes and yes I have squeezed uh, all those paints all here from the same tubes there is no 60 here it's much less these are my favorite of the favorite uh, all these palettes are just palettes that I have created squeezed and I have been using different sorts on different videos so maybe this is where the confusion was coming that you were wondering like Marta but come on I each time using something different yes because my tastes are changing and I prefer some colors and I have them always on hand like this set for example is my new recent favorite you can squeeze out your uh, colors directly on those little containers half pans I think they called <laughs> you can get those or at on Arteza website or anywhere else this is the Arteza one let me show you this is the box that it's coming with and here it is, da -da -da. super cute, super gorgeous, empty box that you can get while buying your uh, paints and look, those are uh, transparent which are super super handy, I love them and for some reason it is just so much easier for me to have it on hand without the box but box is great because you can use your, your um, sides and mix the colors same way as I use and mix colors here or I mix my colors here or I mix my colors here when you are starting to love in your watercolors you kind of start being a little bit of a hoarder of boxes or this or that uh, but the bottom line of all of this is that all of these are watercolor gouaches. Gouaches are different to regular watercolors. The, the difference is that they are more chalky, that they are not that fully transparent. You can make them more transparent, but you can receive a beautiful chalky finish, a full cover, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I love my Arteza gouaches for that particular reason. And I also wish to say that under the video there is a link uh, to Arteza for USA and um, UK customers. I'm not too sure other you uh, Europe countries please have a look if they will ship it to Belgium or Sweden or Germany I don't know please try possibly they'll ship it from UK website so please check it out um, and also using my link truthfully it is helping me to gain a commission from your order what it means is that no extra cost to you quite opposite I have a coupon code of 10% off for you to use um, and the percentage from your purchase goes to me Arteza will know that you use my link and that uh, I get a percentage from your purchase so that's how it works with the affiliate links so using this link to either scrapbook or Arteza yeah, those are the only places actually. Uh, you just help me now to earn a commission for me. So thank you in advance for that. I hope everything now is clear about the paints. And Arteza has also papers that I love, books that I love. For example, let me quickly show you because I have it on hand. For example, this gorgeous book that I have been using. Uh, these are coming in three. A stock could be strange these days due to obvious reasons with the shipping and uh, all restrictions with the virus going on things may be different stock may be changing they may add something they may have something out of stock so please check it and please use my links provided uh, in the description box under the video in all of my videos there is always uh, in info like that in the description box um, because yes on my social media everything is there Okay, <laughs> I have been chatting, chatting, but let's get into painting. I'm going to tidy up that. I hope that makes it clear. So any sort of, oh, and they dry 
they dry hard. All these watercolors, gouaches, they dry hard, and you spray it with a million of uh, spray bottle waters <laughs> that I have, and reactivate them to work again, and they're just magically, I love them to bits. This is my number one product for sure. If you have been asking me years back, I would say gesso, gesso, gesso. These days, it's Arteza gouaches. Honestly, I haven't tried any other gouaches, any other brand. If you have any recommendations for me to try, for me to hear that Marta, something else is this, this, this awesome, or you would love me to try something else, I'm up for challenge, I'm up for trying, I'm all ears, so please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear that what a story that is five and a half minutes of no crafting but chatting. But you know what, I have missed chatting to you so much. What I love about this video today is that I am literally recording it now as we speak and I will post it today, which means that this is a very current video. So whenever you're watching, you will hear the current situation because uh, I record in advance. As you know, plenty of videos would be uploaded month later just because time-wise it's not easy and I really wish to bring you content regularly and all of that so I wish you to have everything always on my channel so whenever you hear today today's video is super current it's like yeah this is the video where I be chatting about what's going on today in our lives so without any further ado let's get into painting let's get some rectangles they don't have to be oops super Super, super. They can be super great, super, and 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 not so um, not so even, and that's perfectly fine. And actually, the plan for this video is about to change, as some of you, or all of you, or a lot of you, <laughs> may be very happy to hear that we will be doing this video together with Emily. <laughs> um, oh yeah, she's amazing in the ombre effect, any sort of ombre-ish things. Um, so of course I have to invite her for the video. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she's getting the wadi ready because I have been doing some testing. Just, I'm gonna show you quickly just a little bit off camera, things like that, but this is not what we will do, we do something else, something different. We have, Emily, our rectangles ready, so you can have the choice. Let's get our paints ready. Okay, you can choose whatever rectangle you wish. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some wadi on the paint, if anything will work. Now, Emily is great at watercolors and I have been checking some Instagram hacky watercolor paintings, little tutorials, and we will do a little bit of ombre effect with some sky and a little bit of uh, maybe uh, those trees because okay. this is always awesome and I think you will be amazing at it, Emily. So, yeah? I love ombre, so. Exactly, <laughs> so that's what I was thinking that you may just love it so very much. Now, brush, there you go. Thank you. Or would you like any other brush? You can have a choice. I have another big brush like that. I don't mind. You don't mind. Mm, I don't mind either. Okay. Um, dum -da -da -dum, dum -da -da -dum. Which this one you taking? Okay, awesome. So what's the story? What's the plan? The plan is to do the top brighter and the top, the bottom darker because here are the trees and this is the sky. Okay. So we have to wet in our... Is it a night sky or is it like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, evening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the plan is that we need to wet our rectangle shape, our rectangle here a little bit and go with some paint. For example, I'm gonna go for this pinkish, I don't know, and oh there we go and I'm gonna hope that we will have a lot of pigment here that will nicely oh, go nice. down mm -hmm. oh and my brush is having hair out so I'm getting, yeah you watered it perfectly I can't see where the reflection is <laughs> I know I'm trying to see what like shape. So I this is have. it, and I'm gonna go down with the color, and I think I'm gonna need a little bit more, maybe 
water here happening so the movement will be and then I'm gonna go down that's what they do they I mean professional watercolor artists because we're just testing out oh oops that's okay <laughs> testing out the technique to paint the bottom and <laughs> top part so and here is that black one going here it is a lot of black and I'm gonna tilt my card again and hope hopefully this will go yeah it goes nicely and build like a pointy texture like you mentioned Emily earlier uh, off camera pointy texture that will be like trees. Of, like trees exactly so this goes itself and it looks really nice wow I feel that this will be a dirty cleaner wad wadi this one what you think so we keep this one as dirty cleaner I'm just using this one because okay. it's closest to me <laughs> okay and maybe I can add a little bit more water here and make this make this even more kind of blend in towards the color or something I don't know if I can add even more and let's see what will happen so here it is and the black one even more I'm gonna try to see if it's gonna be any more movement here with the black and you know if things are not gonna be perfect that's perfect then <laughs> So we're just learning to blend in the colors and build this kind of atmosphere of the trees or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go onto the tree. Part. I absolutely love that now. I'm gonna leave it because I'm Those so. Those are like two trees. Yeah, I'm so scared of destroying it, so I'm gonna leave this and get some smaller brush now because I need. I definitely definitely need some good brush this time maybe this one is pointy and looks good so I what I will do is I'm, I'm gonna get some black here and I'm gonna go for it's spreading itself to look like the branches yeah so here it is and it's still wet so things are kind of I'm gonna bring camera closer Emily will you come a little bit closer mm -hmm. sweetheart with your painting so both of us can be in the camera and all there you go. Emmy, will you be a bit more in the camera? Is it sharp? How is sharp? How is sharp? Emmy? I think so. Yeah? Okay. So it's spreading nicely indeed. So I'm just adding like a teensy, teensy amount of. Look from here, from. I'm gonna show to everyone. From here. Oops. From here, I have like tiny wadi with black so I'm just going pointing that's even too much that I had oh well done Emily you did amazing well done it goes it's nicely it's about to drip to be a tree gorgeous gorgeous so here it is maybe a bit more paint now So you need to be stay away from the a little bit from the paper. You need to control how much you're touching your paper and all. Oh wow, I love it so much. I love it so much. And let's see. So Hannah was asking to paint earlier, so I think I'm gonna paint with her in the garden later on when she gets up. What you think? <gasps> well done, Emmy. That's gorgeous. If you're not be off the camera too much <laughs> that's gorgeous so I'm gonna dry this one a little bit now only the middle part so I'm I'm kind of drying where the where the trees are not the not the roots so I really hope that I will manage to add that I will try to do the trees as in let's say I'm gonna just test it now because oh there we go so I would hope that 
you know, we're gonna have some, that some things will like dissolve here. There we go. But they still stayed lovely here where th where it was dry. This is actually on my on my way. Mine is very wet. I think I need to dry it. Gorgeous, Emily. Well done. Would you like to dry it? There you go. Mm -hmm. So make sure that I'll give you my brush then because I think oops, that's, this pointy brush is very good. So yeah, it's not gonna. Oh, there you go. Careful, because my phone is there. I hold it for you. Okay, so here it is, and I'm gonna get some. I'm 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 constantly two seconds. I mean, let me just say, using a little bit of just black wadi from here. So not much pigment, guys. Not that I'm an expert, but you know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> go for it. Also, dry the middle part only, yeah. right? So you have the roots still possibly to spread. Super. And I think with the second brush, I'll see if I can. There we go. See with the bigger brush. Then, how, the, would you like to use my one? Use my one because it's a really good one. So I, I would love you to really make it well. Uh, and I'll try to find a different brush. I have one more brush. So a teensy, teensy touches, Emily, to the surface. Um, this one is really not. It is pointy, but it's destroyed bristles. A lot. I think I got new brushes from Rain. I have to have a look. Yeah, we have gorgeous. Some tiny brush. I'm sure I have some. Oh, these are angular, so no. I have a lot of brushes, but I, I'm such a bad carer for brushes. And I also got this uh, brush cleaner thing that I will definitely try, and it brings a shape to a brush. I think. So, let me just. See if I can find any teensy teensy. I can't. Maybe this one. Oh, sorry. Maybe this one actually. I'll see. So I think I'm gonna go for. No, I'm gonna leave this one until your brush, because I think you need a good pointy brush. I'm guessing. Let me just get that uh, cucumber. <laughs> pile of brushes that I oh I have a new one oh, and I have oh there's more there's one more new one <clears throat> there we go so we can use this for sure we can try it try to use maybe from here the, the pigment so it's not too much mm -hmm. Can you hear Hannah or is she? I don't know. I don't know if that's her or our neighbor. So, tiny touches, guys, only tiny touches. And if things are not wet, look, I'm just gonna help it out and just go for a little bit of. I think I'm gonna go for like here. And obviously the Christmas trees are irregular as you can imagine. Oh wow Emily, well done. You're off camera completely. <laughs> well done. So I'm gonna go for here and I think I will just How concentrated are we? Mm. <laughs> Isn't it? Super. Love it. Love, love, love it. So here it is. I'm gonna try one more tree maybe. Where will I try it? Maybe here. Because four is not a good number. Oh, the number is better. I think we have to be a little bit faster with it next time. So it blends in beautifully everything together, I think. 
Okay, I love that. Well done, Emily. Beautiful. Yours look like a really full Christmas tree. Yeah, my first tree kept blending with the rest. Mm, that's okay. We can try it again. Would you like that? Okay, no problem. When you finish this one, oh, and I can have to change the batteries flashing. <laughs> so, finish yours, Babinka, and I will get ready our rectangles and all. We can try uh, different colors. Oh, we have rectangles, you're right. We can... Uh, no, maybe we do it again, so we will know that... No, different color, maybe. Will we try a different color? Yeah, different background, so black and something else. Or maybe the teal one would be lovely. So, well done, Emily. Well done. I'll show you a little trick that I kind of realized as well when I was doing the... Well, let me get this... When I do the... Uh, I get you some more black, I think. I'll show you a little trick. Trick? Trick. 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 <laughs> a little trick. Trick. Let me show you. Which is when you do the 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 tree. So like when in when I was a child I would do trees like this, right? But now I've learned to kind of do more like upwards. You know, that kind of way, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. more, Yeah. you know, like, I've learned, I think that it has to be a little bit different shape, and also instead of lines, right, to do more like a touches of, um, touches of, I think it works better when it's wettish, because it's spray, sp oops, spread together, maybe not that wet as now, but let's say, say mm, maybe so you know mm -hmm. something like this there we go and it spreads so whenever it spreads so it's like this here it's was too, too much, much water yeah. and here's too, too dry, so something in between. Shall we try again with a different yeah. rectangle? Let's do mm -hmm. it. I'll change the batteries as well, guys. Okay. So, battery is changed, and Emily is practicing. <laughs> yeah. Practicing her trees. Not easy with the trees, but she'll no. get there. You yeah. get there, Emily. You get there eventually, I promise you. So, we go for this color, the green one, the teal one. Okay, so, okay I'm gonna put it aside there and take a, another. Maybe this one. Which one would you like to take? Mm. Which uh, here is your brush. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and let's do our this one. No, but that's for the background. Yeah, I know, but like that page, I mean. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and let's take the bigger brush because it's easier. I think. Which one would you like? No, no. I don't mind, you really. don't mind. Okay. So the idea is. Let's do it again. We start from. We start from. <laughs> we start from making the. Making what? The rectangle. Yes, a little bit of wadi on top. In the rectangular shape. Roughly. Not too much wadi, but a bit. So hard to see, isn't it? In moments now. The, the, yeah. oh, the hair is there. Okay, gone. And then we need the paint. My water is a little bit dirtier, so I can see where I'm drawing the lines. <laughs> okay, so before this dries, you need to go with your paint. What I like to do is I'm kind of adding more pigment towards top, adding, 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 adding. And it kind of spreads down naturally more than anything. So I'm adding, adding even more pigment, more pigment and wadi, and hoping for the movement. And now when I'm gonna tilt it, it will move definitely, nicely. Oops, not too much, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean this off, and I think I'm gonna just help it a little bit because it could be slightly nicer blend so no stress there and now when I blend this and take this away 
I'm gonna go down with it wetten it with this kind of tealish tealish color you kind of have to be fast in it though a little bit you know so things want to dry on you too fast and the hair again oh it's gone and now time to add the black so in here and hoping for some nice blend oh the hair again I definitely should invest in some better squirrel brush if it's any uh, any go better I that's what I heard I didn't test them properly yet but that's what I heard okay so I hope that this blend will do some magic but f for now doesn't look it looks more like that I have Mm, okay, I have to redo that I think a little bit because it's not blending as I wish, but that's okay. Look. Oh no, actually, sorry, it is doing well. <laughs> oh wow, Emily, look at your gradient now. Wow. Gorgeous. I added a bit of the stark blue at the very top. Beautiful, beautiful Emily. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that black here, hoping that it's gonna create even nicer kind of blend mm -hmm. oh wow so if any professional watercolor artists are watching us please <laughs> have have mercy <laughs> we're just learning isn't it Emily yeah but Whoever doesn't try will never be pro and will never know this or that. So please get your paints out. You see? Get your paints out. Now, I love that. Look at this, Emmy. <gasps> Beautiful, Emily. Well done. You're the best in ombre. My one looks like it's underwater. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm leaving my brush now. And I'm going to quickly jump in into black. And starting to do when it, everything is wet. The the more behind, um, more behind trees, so the bigger kind of trees, and my spread is huge now, so that's good, and it's nicely spreading, naturally itself. You off camera again, Emily? Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's what we have right now, and I think it looks gorgeous. So, wow, well done, Emily. So much better than the the first page. Yeah. Mhm. Mm See, trial, 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 that's the key. So we're trying to do a bit of uh, on the back, those trees that are there. Oops, that's way too much, so be careful. That's okay. So this is on the back. And it spreads nicely itself. So gorgeous. Imagine Hannah with us now. Oh. <laughs> she would love to be here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I love mine. So I'm gonna dry the middle part again. Just the middle part where the trees trees are. Okay. So here it is. It's dry and it's perfect. And I can now try and add. You okay? You're looking for um, some the, the, oh, the dryer. Per, there you go. Thank you. You're not doing those trees. It's too wet to do those. Like no. Way too wet. No. No. It's perfect. You're making them because you. It's the brush needs to be smaller. So here it is. And you you go you do like this now. Here from bottom. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Up towards this. Yeah, next to it. Next to that big one. Oh, there we go. Go, go, go. You have that spreads there. That's okay. Look. Here is your tree. Tinsy, tinsy. There we go. Then get some black. This. 
so you really need the far behind trees kind of you know same for here you can try to have this one as a tree shape you know I feel I'm gonna sneeze now you see you have a little bit of on the back and now you dry the middle part and then do the same as I've done with the trees oh, or you can do now even the tree that will spread less You, ha you are in the... which brush are you using? Uh, this one. You have the good one. We ha I think we have one more brush gun, no? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's here. Oh. That's okay. Hi, Daddy. Okay, and now it's time for... Uh, everything is dry now, but that's okay. If things get dry, you have perfect to do your trees, Emily, now. If things are dry, like mine, I'm going to just add the black here again and that's it, you know. So, no stress there. So, let's see. Yeah, the time means quite something here. Your one is perfect, my one is too dry now. I, what if I spread... Oh. There we go. Maybe just a little... There we go. Mm. So no talking guys while painting. Oh, there we go. I just wanted to help Emily with her, but that's... No problem. I need to sneeze for sure. Two seconds. <laughs> okay, I'm back to you. <laughs> okay, Marta, keep on painting before everything dries on you. So. So we have further and closer. Oops. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm adding just teensy, teensy pigments on my brush. Definitely smaller brush. What Emily using is so far better. I think in the works, I think it's a little bit too much pigment on that brush. So when you're doing your trees, get the smallest brush you owned. You own, I think, far too much pigment holds the big brush. There we go. Yeah, I think so. I think so, and I think I have some more new uh, no these are too big this one I have one more this one same as you similar to what you're using see smaller so and this point is broken so that's okay now let's do it so get the tip number million from learning your by uh, yourself get this small tip just touch it like oh there you go this one is a nice tree it's visible ish <laughs> I think because of the time and chats and all you can you can get your trees less and more visible so be mindful of that as well there you go but with the bigger brush I can and of make a feeling of spreading even more. I love that. 
so there we go. My tummy just rumbled. Ah, I heard. Yeah, it's time for dindins now. I need to cook quickly something. That's that part could could be better, <laughs> but that's okay. Practicing trees, it's good. Is it wet there? Maybe it's a bit too wet, so I may just try this. Tinsy, tinsy. Come on, it's still wet. Yeah, maybe now. There we go. Still wet. How is that possible? <laughs> yeah, I Can think. I, draw my one? Mm -hmm. I think the the drying tool helps for sure. So we'll see. I think we're gonna go for trial number three. <laughs> I think yours is far better than it was. Far better, Emily. Well done. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go for trial number three. I leave this one because time-wise I should concentrate, focus more, but I'll, we'll get there. So I'm gonna try number three and I'm gonna go with the different color again, which will be hmm, maybe the purple one, actually. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Try it again mm -hmm. and go for that purple. Super. And a little bit more pigment even. And help it to spread nicely. You know, and then I'm gonna clean it off and go for that black one here. Hopefully, I, I went a bit too far here. Oh. oh, well, that's okay. And let's get that black the bristles. I'm just so concentrated. That's okay. You're doing fabulous, Emily. So it's good to not give up after the first trial since the second is so amazing. Well done, Ems. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oops. So I hope that this will also be amazing. Now I'm gonna leave this one <laughs> to stand on its own and yeah. Help it a little bit more with some color and dry this, clean this and now since this is wet I'm gonna go with the blacks and just try to do some kind of uh, fire trees, you know, so here it is, awesome. Oops, not here. You trying again? Again? Good. Super. So mm -hmm. we're doing like far, trees far, and trees a bit closer. Can I try a different color? <coughs> of course, <coughs> please. Of course. No. You have to remember as well that in the meantime when you paint, things do dry as well. So you paint and things do dry, you know, so. Wow, I love mine one. I like it how it turned out and. So you again in the video that I didn't plan, you will be in. <laughs> <laughs> I just could see that too. Emily was Sneaking around. What are you doing, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> Will you be recording? Mm -hmm. Look at this tree, Emmy. 
quite quite good, That's isn't cool. it? Yeah, I think I think so. Oh, yellow! Wow, I love it. Um, now I'm gonna dry my tippy toes. The middle part where the tippy toes are. You off camera, me? Okay. And now I'm gonna go for even smaller brush, which is this one. And getting that black-ish working from here, maybe. So I think, guys, it's the trials. So you feel next time how to do things. You know. It's seriously the trials. You won't know it and learn it if you won't do it, you know? You just have to... I think my hair was in the camera. If it's so, I'm sorry for that. And... Well done, Emily. Thank you. I'm glad that you trying and not giving up on the idea of painting trees after the first that uh, they were kind of it was not working not really that's okay you know you've came around like so with each try you know better I know better so myself as well so same for the even I, I'm struggling with the shape of the trees I don't think they just look in the street like a real trees, I think they just a little bit too, I don't know, to something. I Will you look, Emily, now? Is it in... Am I in the camera with you? No. Oh, I felt there Wait, was. no, your hair was. <laughs> yeah, see? Because I think I felt the camera on my... <laughs> on my hair. So... Do you know what I love them about? All three. My first is the best, but that's okay. I think you just have to... Yeah, enjoy them all. Wow, Emily, I love it. Off camera, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for maybe one more little teensy teensy. Um... Yeah, a bit more trees, it just looks better, I think, as well. A lot of trees. Wow, I love it. I love them all. They all each different, so I'm done with my one, my three. Interesting. I'm gonna wait for you to finish baby car. Wow. Well done, Amy. This is so perfect and clean and all and wow. You're doing fantastic, fantastic. As you can see, kids and adults can paint together. I encourage you to do so, to try, because uh, tryings are everything. What would you like? Try it. Pita. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm not gonna be staring at you. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint quickly. No thoughts now. Quickly paint a new one before you finish yours. I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna just jump in with it. Uh, still, red one is my favorite, so I'm gonna go for that. Red color. Mm hmm. Let's go for some... Oh, did you hear Daddy? Did you hear Lucas? That was him. <laughs> Mystery Lucas. <laughs> okay, black one. You 
doing it so fast this time. <laughs> yeah, because I think that I overthink as well a lot. And I really think... Don't overthink. How come your black goes like in the middle and mine would always go to I the don't edges? Know. Not always. Look, each is different, Emmy. Seriously, mm. each is different. Now, when this is wet, I'm gonna go for the blackish. Little tinsy. I'm, I'm, I think with each piece I'm learning something new. And that's what's awesome about it, is that uh, we're just seeing what's good, what works, what's not working and things like that. So. Are we recording? We are. I got a little bit of a fright. I heard something, but it was not the camera. <laughs> it was probably my knee hitting the furniture. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's working. That, that's working. Not too bad, not too bad. What a concentration. Yeah. That is. Okay. Now the middle part, only dry. And uh, when I look on Instagram posts, no, I need some auto brush. Um, it looks so much easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when the professionals are like, and the tree is there. But I think, guys, I encourage you to try. That's the main thing. Sometimes overdoing it is my problem. You just want to keep going. Yeah. And then it doesn't end up as good as you thought it would. Mm. So. Oh well. And my trees are the same size, which length, t tallness, and I think it's wrong. They should, well, wrong. They should, they like, oh, I mean, on the other hand, maybe not, because when you look on the, how the trees look from in the woods, maybe they are more looking the same, I don't know now. I guess it depends. didn't blend too well but it's okay Let's fix this. oh wow it turned out not too bad they are not the same size they look good the ones in the background are bigger mm. yeah how are you doing well done I was so con yeah, I was so concentrated on mine that I didn't look at yours, sorry. Beautiful Emily. It's all about practice. Absolutely. Yeah. And also look, this one the fastest, looking not too bad, no overthinking. And also time wise with the color and dryness and how much uh, time we need for things to dry and for color and for water and for this. So practice, 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 guys. This is all about practice, practice. Are you done? Wow, well done. Let's put them all together, Emmy. Hey. I'm definitely going to be practicing more often. I think so. I like this technique very much indeed. Okay, I'm gonna move these things aside so we can see them all. All nice, and I need to clean all the brushes. All the brushes. All the brushes, thank you. Put yours, honey bunny. So you have two? Three. Oh, the third one you're not gonna use. Oh, it's in the bin already. <laughs> No, they just didn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, put it away. That's okay. I think you are changing and it's beautiful. Well done, Emily. My last one. Which one you like the best? This one because the bottom was blending with the trees more. Yeah, so the third trial would be probably even better. Yeah. 
yeah. Uh, which one is my favorite? Last one, probably, actually, which is this one. Yeah. So, I quite like the blue one. Yeah? I think the least I like the blue one, funny enough. I think my favorite, my second favorite, third favorite, fourth favorite. So how different we feel. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna wrap up with that. Thank you so much for watching, for being with us. We hope you found it inspirational and not intimidating at all. Please try your trees, try your skies and backgrounds and paint with us. We cannot wait to see your makes. Tag us on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, use hashtag Marry Me Small Art and don't forget to use uh, links under the video if you wish to have a look at the Artisa products for the gouaches, for papers, for brushes, for tons of other goodies, goodies that they have. Thanks, Emily, for joining me. Thank it was, you for having me. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Till the next time, guys. Happy crafting, happy painting, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Bye bye! <laughs>